guys, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm on doing another, yet another speed build. Uh, another one that ha is a real life floor plan. The picture will be on the, in the video as we continue build. So, uh, let me just start with the, obviously as always, the wall. Just to get the base scale of it. I feel like I should have used a bit bigger lock for this set. So it was like a tight squeeze house. But it was okay, I mean, it looked nice, so yeah, I was like a bit struggling about that diagonal kind of hallway bit. So I'm like just trying my best. It get, it gets working at the end, but like... So yeah, I'm just <laughs> getting rid of... Yeah, and that then it's a bit weird. Because there has to be kind of like that diagonal bit, so yeah, I get that working, and we're just building the first floor. So uh, there's like the laundry room there, I think, and that's the pantry, that diagonal small bit wall and there is a powder room or a half bath if you want to call it no there isn't any bath in it but whatever so yeah now we come up to the second floor the stairs all over there so here i'm just doing like piece by piece because it was like kind of hard to tell like where it actually fits i, I mean the back side is like black onto the back but the front i couldn't really tell but yes yeah, so there's like i think those are two beds no is that okay oh yeah that, those i think were the two bedrooms and I think on the front there's a mad master bedroom with the, the bigger one bigger bathroom being the ensuite I think yeah it should be so yeah that, that's there and uh, okay so that and that yeah I've just decided to make that bit bigger stairway which made more sense in my opinion yeah there's Oh yeah, this is like a walk-in closet, which I mean, I just decorated it, but I mean, you could probably make it something else if you wanted to, yeah. So there's, yeah, so this part, I was like, he just did to my liberty, I do change a slight bit, but barely, but yeah, so like, I'm just, oh uh, yeah, there's like kind of bump out in the back, kind of like that, and that's where the dining table is, which is nice, and there's a fireplace, and yeah, um, yeah, and this is like, I'm not really sure what she was doing there. But yeah, so, and there's also the kind of fireplace there with the uh, chimney in the back, which I do do in the build. And yes, yeah, that's the half bath, or power room, if you want to call it. There, yeah, so there, I'm just putting different doors. Uh, I'm just furnishing, starting furnishing, like, the the, the things that are, are visible in the image, at least before I do, the, like, my own. So yeah, I'm just also adding more doors, so this, and yeah, I'm just like moving that over and just having that block wall, and there's a bit of a closet there, I don't do anything other than just put that there, but you can do, you can remove it if you like, but yeah, so there, there's supposed, it's supposed to work, I don't know why, so I do the cheat to remove object, which should work, then, it's supposed to be like that, but I don't know why I was glitching it there, but anyway, yeah, so there's like an open kitchen area, so I use that, those parenthood, Kitchen counters, which I really always, a lot of times I use. I, I use either use that one or the cottage living. But yeah, because I loved how it's kind of matching with that kind of a fridge in there. But yeah, it, it worked. It like it looked nice. Yeah, and there's the kind of bay window, and yeah, I think I keep those tables at the end with just different swatches maybe. Yeah, so I just use the seasons couches which look nice I mean I should have probably used the alt to like kind of rotate to kind of rotate that other one but I mean it's fine it looks nice so yeah I'm just adding more doors and that's laundry yep I'm adding the laundry and there's kind of just a wall again there and upstairs I, yeah I just add the, all the other doors around so yeah that's the bathroom door yeah that's the ensuite there yeah, I'm just adding all the other. Yeah, I decided to add the the parenthood one because there was two sinks anyway, so it makes sense if it was more built in. Yeah, I, I couldn't find like a white swatch that looked nice for that one, so I just used that one with the pink curtain. I wish it was like full on white, but yeah. No, and then I've just put a tub there, but I swapped the tub with the thing because the tile on the the shower didn't make sense. It was kind of cutting in, so I did that. I mean, I guess I could have put a wall between those two, but whatever. So yeah, just putting also windows, all from Seasons, I believe. 
Right now it's not in the same height, I think, but I do fix it. I do, yeah, I removed that wall, so I, I put these kind of dressers to make it look like a built-in, which I mean it looks like it. I do change the swatches of doing it, or at least one of it. And yeah, so I'm just continuing the chimney in the back there too. And, yeah, and I'm starting to add like these master bedroom bed. I don't use that, I change it again. And yeah, so I use that one from Seasons, which I love, it looks fancy. And yeah, I use that. I use this style everywhere at the end. That, uh, what you would call it, that kind of, it's the same style, just different sizes. So yeah, this, I originally made this the teens room, but then I realized that the other, other room, not the master one, is bigger than this one, so I decide to I move the I choose this as a kid's room, like a toddler room, and this becomes a yeah, teens room is the other one. So yeah, so I, I'm imagining this toddler is just living there. I just put like the basic stuff, and I, yeah, I I think I make this teenager kind of like an artist, so he does have like the that. Thing, I don't know what it's called, that thing, and then also a few other art deco. And yes, yeah, so I make the, the kid, the toddler's room kind of green color, I think I keep the blue and the teens with it. And yeah, I'm just choosing a uh, right, um, I never noticed this uh, floor tile, a uh, floor of wood, but I really, I liked it, it was like pretty, pretty calm, not, not too much lines, and it was like, the color was nice, it was like not too dark as well. Yeah, and yeah, I was uh, struggling, so there was, I cut down and then I uh, do the cheat where I get, because I do actually have a playing sim, I don't actually play it, but then I had to make it, because this is actually a new save that I decided to make, and yeah, so like, I had to cheat it so that the, I can buy the skill item, at least like, for this build, like, I'm not actually playing it anyway, so yeah, and yeah, so I use this style, just different colors, I think I do like the light, Greenish, yeah, like a grayish color. Yeah, so I use, I like that. I don't know, but like, this one's okay. So I use the same wallpaper, just different colors. That and yeah, so I do add a kind of that and use a similar swatch around there. It looks nice, I think, in my opinion. And yeah, I'm adding also the rug, just different color, and then I realize that's the same one, so I just choose different color for. The toddler room, so yeah, the the rug's kind of off, but it's okay. And yeah, I'm now doing furnishing the uh, walk-in closet. I don't, I don't know, I couldn't say that myself, but yeah. So I'm, yeah, I realized that those look like men's clothes. I use like kind of women's clothes on one side, and the men's clothes on the other side. And uh, I do put shoes on the bottom, yeah. So like same thing, because apparently different swatches have different wood. Like, the shelf, so I decided to see the same. So yeah, I'm just adding like also kind of detailing a little bit there. I put toys scattered on the floor. And I'm just also choosing wallpaper for the kind of main area. Which I like this, this, this light bluish tone. And then I do change, I do add the first cabinets to this. Which looks nice, I think. And yeah, and then... Yeah, I realized it was a bit taller, so I put it down. I do change that one so that I can put the, the overhead. And yeah, so yeah, there I oh, do I not change it? Maybe I don't. I don't know the room. But yeah, so I changed the colors there. And yeah, I put TV on there. And some bookcases, which this do move somewhere else. I originally it was okay, but I didn't really like it anyway. So I do change it, but for now I keep this kind of like built-in style look. I wish that maybe the, the fireplace was a bit smaller, would have liked it. Either way, there should be windows there anyway, so I just move it. So yeah, I put a size, oh yeah, that painting goes up there, which gives it look nice, but I do size up, I don't know, I don't know if it, do I use that one? No, I think I changed that as well, but, so yeah, I'm adding, it was supposed to be arch, I oh, know it's not there, it's supposed to be there, so I just put an archway there into the, Pantry, which I mean, technically, there was just a door, or like the original way, but I want to do that. I want to have this dish shelf, but obviously that didn't work. So this one was okay, but it's just clipping, so I was like, I'm placing it so that it's not 
clipping into the wall. But that's okay. I should have maybe changed the swatch as well, but what? Oh well. It's what it is. See, I'm just putting some hampers there. And I put the cats and dogs. Right there. Yeah, that bug. And I'm just putting some debug cars that matches these. I mean, originally I put one, I put, and then, but then later I change it because. Well, you'll see, but yeah, and some putting paneling, which looks nice. But apparently, uh, yeah, there's some like these stone accents. So I just try to look for one. I use that one. Season one, I think. Yeah, I think all front here is like kind of stone, but other parts are just like panels. But yeah, I, I tried expanding it. It looked, but because it was weird, but I decided to just shrink the garage, which was okay, I think. So yeah, I'm just. Yeah, and then I just put. Apparently, in the original build, the, the chimney is not stone, it's like also paneling. But I'm like, I don't want that, so I put stones on that as well. It looked nicer, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm at, uh, putting on the foundation and just putting the roof above it. And there's a gable roof there, so I do kind of shift all around. Uh, yeah, I do like a lot of that. I do remove that last bit because the gable does have to be bigger anyway. So yeah, I remove that side. I just extend the one that's kind of hiding that weird bit. But yeah, that looks okay. Thing. And I put obviously it's supposed to be, yeah that big gable roof. Which honestly, it's like so tall. I had to put like four high chimney, which looks weird, but it's okay. So yeah, um, and yeah, there's more a lot of gable roof. And it's like layers on layers. Like that. And then, yeah, there's a clipping, so I just make another one to that. Yeah, it looks nice. I mean, in my opinion, <laughs> it's just me. And yeah, so it's supposed to be like kind of on the same diagonal bit, so I just shrink that as it should be. And yeah, I, I, and here I decide I will add two garages rather than. Yeah, it was being weird, so I had to bring down the foundation so that I can put two. And see, I put the backsplash. And I also add the other car, the orange one, so it fits like there's like two, it fits two cars. I mean, you can obviously put other things, other cars, maybe like a gym or something, but I mean, I wanted to do like the original where it's supposed to be a garage, but yeah. I really like this build. I think this was my, one of my best builds. Oh, even my landscaping was pretty good, even with the terrain painting, in my opinion. Yeah, so that's where the windows go, so I move that. I move it there, but also that doesn't stay for long because after okay so I put more windows in it but you'll see it also move again afterwards so yeah um just yeah I'm just like swapping where the window should be so it looks nicer yeah so there's extra window on top which actually matches the bottom one I like that and yes yeah, so I'm just making sure the windows are where it should be so yep it's all nice wait do I not oh, wait, maybe not I don't know should have been slower, I think, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'm just adding more columns and just adding more like these fences that were in there. There's like the kind of it's more like curvy path, but I decided I'm just going to do this. I put like a darker path to represent it's a driveway. Oh, it's a bit off. Oh, whatever. But yeah, so I'm adding these bushes from debug. I think. Yeah, these the, these ones are from debug, so it's free landscaping. But I really like that. It was a bit different in the actual, it was like that. But I decided to just like make this kind of like alternating flower pet, and I just removed that last one. But it looks nice. I think. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna add more of those debug bushes. Yep, that's all. And I think, oh yeah, that because there's actually a door to the back patio, I had to move those shelves to the other side again, but it looks okay. And yeah, and I just add the double door from Seasons again. And I just, and yeah, it's kind of like a diagonal patio space, and like that. Kind of a pentagon ship, I guess. So yeah, I just do that. I use a si the sidewalk slabs for these ones, which look lovely on those. And yeah, I put a small grill on that, and I just put the table there on the side. And I think I put, you know, planter boxes and the edges. I wanted to put that one, but it was like snapping in weird places, and I didn't like that. So I just use the thick square ones, which looks nice as well anyway. And yeah, and I'm just finishing with some plants and I realized there's no 
coffee table. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not wrapping apparently <laughs> so fast. Yeah, so I'm just finally I'm doing the finish touches. And yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and I just add these like shelf because I mean I want to fill it up a little bit. So yeah, I think that's about it. Yep. So let's just tour the build. So yeah, and those are the two sims that are actually apparently. I mean, I started with those two sims at the start, like as a new city. But anyway, this is our build. It looks lovely, in my opinion. Oh, and oh, I do actually change up while in this tour mode. But yeah, just to add a few more touches. So I, I do use this chimney. I do, like, kind of, I go down and I do the control nine, which does move it up. Uh, it takes me a while. I, I oh yeah, I think I put the walls. I put the walls down, I think, when I do this because it's like so glitchy. Like, what? I don't know. Like, it was, oh yeah, that's where I got it to work. Or sort of. I don't know if I used that one. It's, it's already takes me a while just to get this part working, but yeah. So I get that. I think I didn't like that. I don't know if I keep that one. <laughs> I mean, because it's like off center. Oh no, I think I did fix that. <laughs> I think I try again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, that's not right because it's like outside. Yeah, so I guess you can see the lighting's a bit weird. It should be dark, which I don't like, but I mean, we'll have to do. I guess I could have removed the roof. No, that would have been looking weird. And it had to be that 3Y, even though I wanted it sort of 2 white. But yeah, I changed. Oh, yes, okay, so I used, don't use that one. I used something else. So I used, yeah, I think I used this one, I guess. Which I guess looks better. A little bit. I guess I could have sunk it a little bit in, but oh well. And I just changed the color, but it makes no difference because it's inside the house, so it's kind of shadowed. But yeah, so let's. Oh, and I accidentally went to build. Like, why did I go to build again? Oh yeah, because I forgot to include a trash can with that here, which was fitting. I think it fit perfectly there, so I liked it. So yeah, that's our vinyl build, and let's just tour around. So yeah, there's the garage. <laughs> it's, I think it's spring, that's why the bushes look weird, but yeah, that's the powder room. And there's the laundry room, or the utility room, and there's the kitchen, which, love, which I really love. As also with the living space and the dining area with the bay, which I really love. Yeah, that one I wish I could rotate it, but... Uh, I, wait, do I move it? Oh, okay, so I do rotate like that. I, I mean, it would have been better if I did the alt rotation, free rotation with the other mode. But yeah, so I just add those, and that, and then there's the backyard with the planters and chair, or the kind of like seating area. And upstairs, there's three bedrooms, so there's the toddler's room, which was like nice, I think. I could have probably added some posters on top, or like pictures. Like drawings on top. Yeah, I love those. Kind of like a built in wardrobe on both ends. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, so this teenager is a painter or like an artiste. So he has a lot of this art stuff, which I guess I could have put some paintings on the wall as well. Which I should have decorated a bit more. But yes, yeah, so this is the master bedroom with a bit of a laptop table or desk and then an uh, ensuite. Yeah, one, the big ensuite and then this little is like the full. Oh, wait. <laughs> Did I not tile it? Oh, apparently I forgot to tile. Oh yeah, so I realized here, so I do go back again here and I use the... I just like quick do it, and so I make these black tiles, which I really love. It looks fancy. And there's one more. Um, I'm trying to look for it. Yeah, there's the powder room or the half bath. And yeah, I also need to put the wallpaper in, or I guess the tiles in. So you just... Quickly is that kind of gray tile with the top kind of plaster kind of thing for the all the bath, so it looks nice. I just do it cohesively, same. So yeah, so there's a bath done, and there's a walk-in closet, and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you really liked the video. I mean, and the bill. I mean, what I meant. Not just the video, but the bill. But yeah. 
thanks again, and see you guys next video. Bye!